is a new defense that has taken over Madden 24. Henry and all the best Madden 24 pro players have now started running the 3-3-odd three, three defense. And in today's Madden 24 video, I'm going to teach you the secrets of how to run this defense like a pro. Let's get into it now. YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from sportsgamers.com. And you may have noticed that a lot of the pro players have stopped running dollar, and now they're running the nickel 3-3 three, three odd. And you might be wondering, why is this? Well, the biggest reason is this nickel 3-3 three, three odd has a blitz that is unslidable. You cannot block this blitz the same way that you can block dollar and a lot of the other blitzes out there. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys the secrets of this blitz. Now, the first thing I need to show you guys is the proper coaching adjustments and subs you're going to want to use when running this. Now this nickel 3-3 three, three odd, you can run this in a few books. Personally, I like using it from the Oakland Raiders defensive playbook because it gives you 3-3 three, three odd, 3-3 three, three cub, and then the 4-3 even 6-1. So you actually can get some pretty good options defensively and it even has 3-4 odd, which if you guys follow me on my website sportsgamers.com, you know that's one of my favorite defenses in the whole game. So. Let me break down the coaching adjustments. So the most important things here is you have auto flip off because you really need to flip this play and formation for it to work the best. You want base alignment. You want your option defense on conservative. Now, you know, I have match off and my zone drops. I keep them on the fault to start the game. But if someone is starting to beat me of certain routes, then I can adjust them. But basically, guys, you can put your zone drops on whatever you want. Now, subs wise. Uh, nothing too crazy here. I mean, I, like I said, I don't do anything too crazy with this defense. The only thing I will say is you're going to use her where you see I have Calvin Johnson. That's going to be your user. And then the linebacker next to him is going to be your A-gap blitzer. So make sure that guy is fast. Now, the thing is that truthfully, this blitz could be run from a lot of plays out of this formation. Very similar setup. Basically, you're just looking for plays that when you flip it, you'll see that that edge rusher on the left of the screen, like in cover three sky is blitzing. But the, I'm gonna show you guys the play that Henry is dominating with right now. And that's the cover three cloud. And I'm gonna break down not only his blitz setups that make this unblockable, but then some adjustments you can do and also the best abilities to you. So, you know, going over abilities guys, the most important thing is that your uh, outside corners have deep zone, mid zone, flat zone pick artist so basically all of the ko zone ko's and pick artist your safeties you really want pick artist and then deep zone and mid zone you don't need flat zone on them uh, slot corner should have either mid or flat or both pick artist if you can a lot of people still use chris harris because he gets secure tackler linebackers you know you just really want lurk artist secure tackler mid zone if you can you know it's not it's not that big of a deal then on your d line you, you want basically zero ap abilities a lot of people started to use the cards that have avalanche like this Reinfeld guy, um, Ray Lewis, the GT mean, Ro mean Joe Green Cam. I mean, but those cards other than Ray Lewis are going to be like four plus million coins. So, I mean, you know, it's not a necessity that you use them, but you could use them just to give yourself some more chances for fumbles. Now, I do want to let you guys know that I do free Madden 24 videos on a daily basis on my channel. I do gameplays against high-level players and practice mode tips like you see here. So if you're trying to get better at Madden, subscribe to the channel, man. Drop me a like, comment on the video. If I can get to 500 likes on this video, I got another pro defense I can show you guys. And if you want to get better immediately at Madden 24, the best place to do that is sportsgamers.com. I have a premium VIP membership where you get access to all of my secrets, all my schemes, ebooks, game plans, and coaching. And if you use coupon code Duke, you'll get 10% off your order. Link is pinned in the comments and the description, guys. Dominate with me. Let's go. So here's the most basic way to set up this blitz, and then I'll get into showing the splits against basic protection. Then I'll get into slide protection, different adjustments, and coverage adjustments. So the blitz is so easy. That's why people love it. You just basically take this linebacker on the left of the screen that's in the hook zone, you blitz him, and then you just put him behind the D-tackle, but you make sure his blitz angle is going up the left A-gap. If it goes up the right A-gap, it's not going to work. Then, this is optional, but this is the best way to do it. You QB contain by hitting either R1, R1, or RB, RB. You take your user, you stand over the guard, you put yourself on a blitz angle, and you're looking to roam the middle of the field yourself. 
Now, you could shade your coverage up or down. If you want hard, flat, shade down. If you want cloud, flat, shade up, then, I'm sorry, down, then up. You know, hard, flat, you can take away the zero to five yard pass. Cloud, flat, will take away like the 10 to 15 yard. And yeah, that's really all you gotta do, man. Let's show you guys how the split screams. As you guys can see, super easy A-gap. You take away the first read over the middle and they're sacked. Now, here, here's where the splits gets nasty because against Dollar, you know, you can slide right, slide left. You could double team the D-tackle. There's a lot of things you could do. So let me show you guys how the splits will work against all the different protections people are bound to use. So first, let's just double team the D-tackle. That I would say is the most common thing people look to do is just double team the D-tackle. Yeah, that's going to work, right? Let's just double team the D-tackle because that's all you do against Dollar half the time. And, uh, you know, it works great. So again, we're just blitzing this linebacker, moving him over to the D-tackle. QB contain, and we just use it this guy. All right, I'm still gonna just cover the middle field myself. So here's double team the D tackle. Oops, that doesn't work. You get some sort of pressure immediately. That time we got our defensive end flying up the gap. Do you want to become a better Madden player and win more games? If so, check out my premium Madden strategy website, sportsgamers.com. I have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks and schemes, all from the pros, at the lowest price possible. I have helped thousands upon thousands of Madden players improve their games and I can help you as well. Our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet. This membership will include all of our Madden ebooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. That's actual D-line gap pressure. So double teaming the D-tackle, that's out, okay. What about slide protect to the right? Slide protect to the right worked great against Dollar most of the year until it didn't, but that's another topic of conversation. Okay, let's try that. So again, splits this guy right here over the D tackle, QB contain, and this user, this guy, right over the D, I'm sorry, the right guard. Again, you put him on a blitz angle, even though you're gonna be in coverage. I'm dropping over the middle. I put him on a blitz angle to distract the O line. Okay, let's see now. We slid right. Does that work? No. But <laughs> I mean, you're getting sacked instantly again. Now what? Well, let's try to slide left. So you guys can see all the different protections. None of them have worked. Let's see about slide left. Okay, we're going to again blitz this guy over to D tackle. QB contain. User this guy. You guys can see this blitz takes literally one or two seconds tops to set up. It's literally like two steps. It is so easy. That's another reason why the pros love it. Dollar and other defenses can get to be a lot of steps. This is super fast. I mean, you guys, I'm setting this up so fast, right? And once again, you guys can see, no, I mean, it doesn't do anything. So you guys can see now how good this blitz is, all the different protections, none of them worked. Now let me get into actually how to adjust this coverage because like, no matter how good your blitz is, you can't just keep running the same coverage over and over again. So there's a few different things you can do. So first of all, one of the things you can do that I like to do a lot is simply either show blitz to bring the safeties in the box like this, or is when you bring the safeties in the box, like it is a little bit better because then they can't throw the quick seams, or you can just keep it baseline. Let me just reset it and press. Now, when you keep it baseline and press, the DBs will come up, but not the safeties, right? Now, when the DBs come up, then you have the option to either back them up or just keep them the way they are that's again that's kind of up to you but again if you just press it like this now the dbs are coming up and what this does is you know say somebody is just getting rollout happy on you and what i mean by that is some, the, the other thing people like to do a lot out of this uh when they see a gaps is they're just gonna double team the dn opposite the a gap right and they're just gonna haul ass so, so since the a gap and most a gaps this year come from the left People want to double team the DN on the, I'm sorry, the DN on the right and basically just roll out immediately. That's when you want to do this and blitz that slot corner, which is what, what makes pressing good is they never know if you're, if you're going to blitz him or not when he's pressed. Now you guys can see, oh, I'm just immediately going to try to roll out while I'm rolling right into this guy. I'm getting sacked. So that takes away the double team rollout. Now, the other thing that's really nice that you can do that I do recommend doing from time to time is usering this guy. Okay, usering this guy, you can add another guy into coverage. So say you need someone additionally over the middle of the field in coverage. Um, all you're going to end up doing here is user this guy. Yes, I'm going to keep him on his container blitz angle, but I'm not actually going to rush. I'm just going to just take that half step forward, then I'm going to drop back in coverage. So now I get an additional guy in coverage. This turns a five-man blitz into a four-man blitz, okay? 
five man to a four man. Last thing I want to show, if they're killing you out of the backfield with their running back, simply bluff blitz this DN right here on the left. Well, basically on the running back side of the formation, bluff blitz the defensive end. When you do that, he's actually going to pick that guy, the running back up, as you guys can see here, and it's going to get boxed. Now, this, as you guys can see here, it does affect the blitz when you do that. So please be aware of that. You also could do the same thing over here where if you bluff blitz this guy, it's going to be the same concept. This is going to affect the blitz a lot less though. Um, so if you're really worried about the, you know, the blitz aspect of it, but you still want to pick up the running back and not have to worry about guarding him yourself, I would recommend just bluff blitzing the, the outside linebacker instead of the D end. Now, you know, the blitz is still like not as good i would say it's a little bit better though when you bluff blitz that guy versus the d lineman still the bluff blitz does pick up the running back makes it so you don't have to worry about using him but the blitz is not going to be as good so there is a trade-off but that is a really nice adjustment you do see a lot of people utilize if their running back is killing them me personally i mostly just like sending the do the dogs at them and you know if they do send the running back out of the backfield i have no problem taking them away and again all it takes is one bait you guard the running back once then next play you jump back guard the post maybe they throw maybe they get a dot on you over the middle of the field but it's a guessing game it's a bait game you take one thing away one play next play i get the running back up drop back on the post they throw it again at the post expecting it to be open it's a pick so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Until next time, it's your boy Duke, and I'm out of there.